We recently reported on how sound is measured in decibels and how certain decibel levels can be harmful to our hearing. Apparently, it really stuck with you, huh, Michelle? Oh, yeah. And just about every day since then, I've stopped at some point and wondered, what decibel is this sound? It also got me thinking about the organ behind our hearing and its incredible design. It's signature science. What do swimming in the deep end of a pool, driving in the mountains, and riding in an airplane have in common? They're all activities that will likely pop your ears. But have you ever wondered why your ears do that? There are three main parts, the outer, middle, and inner ear. The popping sensation you feel has to do with a change in air pressure at different elevations. Popping occurs in the middle ear and the eardrum, the membrane that separates the inner and middle sections. When air pressure around you changes, it can cause your eardrum to either bulge out or depress inward. Think of it kind of like this balloon. Right now, our eardrum has the same air pressure as the room outside. But if the pressure in the room decreases, like when you rise in altitude in an airplane, the air pressure inside the drum is suddenly higher than outside. It can cause a lot of discomfort. Similarly, if the surrounding air pressure quickly increases, like when you're diving deep underwater, the air in the balloon doesn't have time to adjust and is squeezed out. Here's another example of that. Say you take an empty water bottle, cap closed, into the deep end of a pool and descend quickly. You would see that as the water pressure increases with depth, the bottle squeezes in on itself. So you would need to add air to the bottle to equalize the pressure. Then when you rise to the surface, the air bubbles out slowly. This keeps the pressure equalized. In our ear, the eustachian tube drains fluid from the middle ear, but it also helps regulate the pressure. It's pinched closed and opens up as needed to control the airflow on both sides of the eardrum to keep pressure equalized. Most of the time, it does this without you even knowing it and with no discomfort but it has a hard time keeping up when the air pressure changes suddenly. This can make your ears feel clogged and is often painful. And that's when your ears feel the need to pop. So if you find yourself in need of a little snap, crackle, pop action, here are some ways to safely alleviate the pressure. Have a good yawn, chew some gum, or squeeze your nose and gently blow out. Keyword on this last one is gently as too much air could cause damage. It seems simple, but I can't help but think it's a feature of our ears that only an intelligent creator would plan for in his design. <laughs>